Good day, folks. I just stopped and put some bug spray on, so I thought I'd get you up on, give you the lowdown of what I'm doing here. Just getting out for a dig this morning, and I'm up again towards the state of Maine and New Brunswick, Canada border. So hopefully we can find something, uh, a few different finds from ooh, my uh, local bottle finds. So it always uh, surprises me the different finds that you, that I dig up in various locations from one town to the next. So it's always interesting. So I'm going to get going here. And I'll get you back up on when I get there. Hang tight. Okay, folks. Well, I'm at the location. This is the first... A ah, decent thing I dug up. Looks like it's possibly an early machine made or some type of blown in a mold bottle. There's no embossing on it other than on the base. JL and Company Limited. I just looked that up and I didn't, well, I just tried to look it up. I didn't have any luck. I couldn't find anything about it. So that might clean up all right. A nice uh, flask. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Right there. <laughs> Cork top cognac money bottle. I have big folks, it's got a little bit of junk on it, but I'll have to clean it up. Right on. Oh, it's even got a partial label on the back. Sweet little find, sweet little find. Okay, let's keep going. Next find right there, folks. Look at the friggin' mosquitoes, they're wicked here. Uh, there is a uh, Scott's Emulsion Cod Liver Oil. Lots of gunk in it. That's one of the ones from the 20s, I believe. It's a lime and soda. It's not a screw top. It's not a cork top either. It's got one of those like snap-on lids. Probably on a hinge. Yeah. Second one so far I pulled out of this this location. Cool beans. Alright, let's get back at it. This big old metal uh, bowl loader, or whatever it is here. Anyways, I just pulled it out of the little hole there, and I see there's a little panel side cork top sitting right on the top of it. Let's pull that out and see if it says anything. No, 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 no lettering on it. Too bad. I don't think there's anything else in there. Oh, oh, there's something. Oh, it was broke. Well, that's all, folks. Here we go, folks. We got two finds here, and they're both Menard's liniment. This one's a cork top, and of course, this one here is a screw top. I won't be keeping the screw top one. I shouldn't even be keeping the cork top one because they're quite common and I got a pile of them there now, but I'll keep it anyways. Yep. Hey folks, it's me again. <laughs> I just pulled up this big piece of metal here and uh, I got a day maker down here. Oh yeah, check out these mosquitoes. Right here, folks. There's a bluebird. Beverage is Boston. A bluebird up on here. Or a bird, I'm assuming it's supposed to be a bluebird. It's all embossed, eight fluid ounces. Crown top. Wow, nice. 
Nice one. Nice one. Nice awful blue color. That's got to be an oldie. <laughs> right on. <laughs> There's one, folks. Something different. The porcelain salt and pepper shaker. Oh. <laughs> Old Butterfingers today. Old Butterfingers. Yeah, quick that off. Cool. Little piece missing out of the bottom. Little stopper. Nice little find, though. Good day viewers, welcome to the video grand finale here. I'm not going to go into too much depth on this stuff here, uh, but I guess I can start off by saying it seems to all be from uh, the 20s into the early 30s, maybe late 20s, but let's get started with this one here. This one here actually might be a little bit older, I'm not sure kind of crudely made but it does appear to be a uh, machine made and the uh, mark on the bottom is JL and Company Limited doesn't seem to be any info online about that but anyways it's kind of an aqua bluish color it's not in real good condition the outside's kind of rough it's got a little sickness to it next we got the this Bluebird bottle, Bluebird Beverages Boston. It's got some water left in it there. Let me dump that out real quick. Yeah, and like I say, I think this one's probably from the late 20s, early 30s. Another nice color, but once again, it's got a lot of case wear, or it's dinged up, or got a lot of marks on it, anyways. Then we just have the milk and magnesia. It's a small one. Lots embossed on that. Cobalt blue. Everybody loves those ones. And then this one here is a favorite of mine and lots of others as well. It's a Scots emulsion. Cod liver oil. It's got the fisherman there with the cod over his shoulder. Cod liver with lime and soda. Now some of these are a real aqua blue like a dark aqua blue color but this one here has got a it's just a light color to it but it's a nice bottle and the Boston's not too bad on it either next is cognac Monet that isn't dirt in it that's actually a partial label and it's a corker that was my first uh, cork top cork top cognac Monet bottle so that was kind of like a bucket lister there Nice find, happy to have that one. Well, next we got a couple inks here. This is a, uh, a Schaefer's. Don't find many of those. Two ounce. And this one is a Schaefer's as well. Schaefer's script. These all have water in them. Stopper number uh, 16 for this year. Glass stopper number 16. Here's a different find. Salt or pepper shaker. Hand paint it. Which way does it go? Right there. Probably can't make that out. But it says hand paint it in the pond. Kind of cool. Yep. A little amber down there. Here's the uh, Whittemore Boston USA. The lug style uh, screw top on it. Indicating once again probably uh, 20s or earth, early 30s. And here's an interesting find. One of these graduated medicines, and it's got the rubber stopper in it with a glass wand and something around the end of it there. I didn't want to play around with that too much, no telling what might be on it. But anyways, it's all together, and I'm not going to pull that out. But anyways, there you have it. First time I've seen one 
complete like that. Here's a Penslar, most likely a hand cream. Once again, this is a machine made as well. These are all machine made bottles. I got no blown ones out of this dig. Menard's Liniment, King of Pain Relief out of Nova Scotia, Canada. Very popular company, very common bottle. Joe Kerr. That there's a hair tonic. And finally, this bottle here, which to me, if I had to guess, I'd say that was probably some sort of lotion. Could be wrong. No telling for sure, but that would be my guess. So that's it, folks. Another dig done. Hope you enjoyed the video and the, the recap here. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Have a great day, everyone.